Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is uh, Dmitry Toslanko and I'm a CV artist with a 10 year experience. In this short video tutorial I'm gonna show you how I created this render and um, I think uh, in the end of this video you will be really surprised how simple action sometimes you need to get a really decent result. So let's start. Here is a model I'm gonna render in this video and as you see it has uh, already final post and uh, first scene I'm gonna do is a quick review of this scene and uh, as you see all objects are hidden in separated layers. It just make my life more easier and also you can see uh, I have uh, two versions of this mesh, low poly and high poly. Uh, I usually work in with uh, low poly meshes when I need to move, pause or animate something. But in this uh, video I will be working only with uh, high poly model and uh, as I said before, this uh, amazing guy has uh, already a final pose I've made before. The next thing I'm gonna show you is some materials and uh, first of all we need to assign our renderer and uh, just press uh, F10 button and uh, select and assign V-Ray in render slot. Now I can close my render stop window. And uh, as you see, I use uh, displacement. And uh, in this case, I use uh, U ray displacement modifier, all displacement maps connection with uh, U ray HDRI map. The next material is uh, actually the Mantis material and it consists from many materials like uh, body material, spikes material, uh, these two material combined in one using V-Ray blend material without uh, shellac mode. Also I have two different uh, specular materials and uh, all these materials combined in one using V-Ray blend material with the uh, additive shellac mode. The next material I'm gonna show you is uh, actually antennas and it's just a simple SSS2 material. Uh, this material is uh, ice and uh, it consists from inner and outer structure. The last material I have is a um, higher material, so let's close this window and uh, start lighting our scene. Uh, for this scene I will be using only three lights and uh, just select uh, U-ray plane light and put it in this scene. Change. Uh, multiple value to 5 and uh, press invisible on press shift and do the copy of your light and uh, rename it correctly in this case it's a backlight and a main light now I can move this lights in right position. And back light to behind this mantis.
I think I need to change a little bit uh, size and uh, a little bit move up this my main light and uh, the next light I'm gonna create is a dome light so I will be using HDRI map for this scene but first of all change your multiple value to 005 and uh, press invisible press M and create a V-Ray HDRI map and just uh, select your HDRI map change uh, your mapping type to spherical and uh, connect this map to the dome light I think uh, my lighting job is done so the next thing I'm gonna create is a camera mm, just select the left window and press ctrl C and uh, create the camera press enable default field effect and uh, change uh, target distance you can also just select the target and uh, put uh, them in the right position I also change uh, lens bridging value to 10 and uh, in the final I rotate the camera just uh, try to find a little bit more interesting composition and I think uh, this composition is uh, well Lastly, I need to change uh, uh, render settings and I think you're gonna be surprised but I will be using for, the, for this scene, I will be using uh, only V-Ray quick setting window, just set uh, studio settings and uh, that's all. As you see, I will be using a brute force and a secondary light cache. You also can change this value and uh, speed up uh, your render. I think uh, I will speed up on this uh, video during uh, the rendering process so the video should be uh, not so boring. As you can see the result Mm, image has uh, bad quality with the noise and dirt but uh, I'm uh, really happy to see this result and uh, I think uh, I should uh, start to prepare uh, my render setting for the final render and uh, close this render change AA value to 34, 32% and press render button
finally I have my render and uh, for the final post process I will use a um, frame buffer call correction and uh, I already have this file so I just uh, load uh, it uh, into this scene and as you see the main target of this option is uh, change uh, black color and uh, this option do the black color more gently and uh, breathe here is a uh, all option um, you can take a print screen and save all this setting I hope uh, you like this video and uh, if yes you can put a uh, finger up and uh, subscribe on my channel uh, it really help me also I put my Instagram and our station page uh, in the description of this video and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I will try to give you correct answer.